Hey, y'all. <laughs> I had to fix the lighting for y'all. I got me. I got a new lamp. I don't know if... Let me see. It ain't... Uh, it's not working the way I thought it would work. Let me move it over some. Oh, shit. Anyways. I don't spend almost a whole minute bullshitting around. So I was in the car tonight and I was my Cardi B came on, right? And I was like, ugh. And my brother was like, what? Why don't you like her? And I was like, I just really don't care for Cardi B. And he was like, why? He was like, is it because you were a big Nicki fan? And I was like, I thought about it for a minute. I was like, no, it really has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a big Nicki fan. It really has all to do with the fact that I just Cardi's. I'm 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 so proud of everything that she's getting right now. That everything that's happening to her. But I don't know when this. She's just. I, I, maybe it's she doesn't know how to put her words together or whatever. She doesn't know how. Whatever happened to media training, you know? And I made this video a while ago back, but this one will be different because I'm not coming in a, in a, in a negative space. I'm just being honest right now. I want Cardi B to really win. But what happened to her buzz? You know, like, here's my thing. Okay, so, Nikki disappeared on December the 31st. These rap bitches, I won't say these rap bitches, but Cardi B has yet to announce her album. And I think I'm pretty, she's on a label now. So, I'm sure it has something to do with her label. Because you remember back in, I... Cardi B's album was supposed to come back come on come out in October 2017 bitch is motherfucking March 2018 now bitch so where's your album Cardi and you keep saying oh the album is coming that album is coming and it's like they don't know Nicki's next move and it's kind of like oh no Cardi we can't drop your album yet cause we waiting on Nicki and I'm like So, here's my thing. If everybody had so much to say last year about Cardi was the new chick on the scene, if that's the case, then where's her album? I'm just asking, because you know what? I'm not holding back. Fuck that shit. Because you know what? Everybody is getting exposure mixed up with fame and talent. That's y'all fucking problem. You think because you listen to somebody, oh, they got a number one record on Billboard. Oh, she popping. She the new shit. Nicki never got a number one. Let's think about all the music that Nicki has dropped. Nicki has dropped some some hits, some good songs, even some pop, some white, you know, pop radio songs that should have went number one. Now, Cardi B dropped that bullshit ass boy that yellow and it was high it was cool it was a, it was a fun song for the summertime but number one a number one record and i'm not shading anything that she's i'm speaking from my perspective my opinion of the song it just wasn't number one to me it was like a hit club song like it was it's kind of like a little kim jump off that's what it gives me not number one it's kind of like oh everybody you know let's let's turn up you know but number one record and you know, a lot of people, the, the, the fans on Twitter were saying that it's Paola. I'm not saying it is, but I'm not saying it's not. I'm not taking away anything away that she's gotten. But it doesn't make sense as to how... So here's... And I'm going back to a question I asked a while ago. Do y'all think Cardi B would still have gotten the number one record if she would have been independent and she would have released Bodak Yellow to the radio? I don't have an issue with Cardi B. I think I like her better as she's a very beautiful girl. 
I was rooting for her. I even had a lot of Nikki fans unfollow me because I was defending them against Cardi. I was like, y'all need to leave this girl alone. And I still think that I don't think it should be a, a, a stand war against Cardi versus Nikki because they're in two completely different spots as Nikki has solidified herself as to what she is. And I don't want to make this a Nikki versus Cardi thing, so I don't want to try to stop bringing up Nikki, but I'm just trying to make a point. Going back to my point, this exposure thing y'all get mixed up. Oh, she's famous. She's hot because you see her everywhere. And you notice after that, when she started to get her, when she started to pop, you notice she started, she, then she announced she was with Offset. And it's just like, we've seen the movies. How they hype it up like, oh yeah, do that so you'll get more exposure. Or, you know, we got social media now. Social media accounts for a lot of, you know, then you get your music streamed and more people are notifying you, which it makes sense, okay? But at one point, do y'all stop listening to and stop praising this bullshit ass music? Because, not to say Cardi B makes bullshit ass music, but what song did she really make that was of value? I'm just, you know what, I'm gonna go through, let me see. Maybe she did. She does have mixtapes. And I have her mixtapes, so let me go through, let me scroll through. Um, trust the sugar through this fucking... I know she has a song, Never Give Up, but we still have yet to hear anything about Cardi's story or anything about anything she went through. I just, I, I don't I don't know. Like, I just feel like, and she tweeted one day, she was like, why would I really rap when I can make, when I can make, when I can make money off of y'all liking the bubblegum music or something like that? That's basically what she was saying. I, it's a misquote, but that's basically what she was saying. And... I'm just like, y'all will praise Cardi B, but somebody who's actually trying to make it like the Stefflon Dons, the LaKaylee 47s, and the um, the Cash Dolls, those are the girls that I really want to win because I feel like they're really working hard as to be in a spot that Cardi B is in, and they may not ever get to that because they don't have the payola or they don't have the love and hip-hop exposure and all that kind of... And that's another thing. It seems like to me that now love and hip-hop is the new spot to go to get your fame. Like, oh, oh yeah, you're on reality TV. Now we take you serious. Which is not a bad thing. It's just not a bad thing. But y'all have got to know talent when y'all see it and stop getting mixed up with these bullshit ass hit records because they're on the radio oh yeah my friend likes it so yeah let me play it too or yeah oh bodak yellow is hot i didn't like you know i'm gonna be honest i didn't like bodak yellow at first but it it kept playing on the radio it kept playing everywhere i go and i was like okay well it's a cute then i heard it in the club one night and i was like okay these is red bottoms but where's the song now you know like So my question to you guys is, do you think Cardi's, Cardi B buzzes up? Do you guys think that? Because Bardia Cardi was not really all of that to me as a follow-up single. And I'm going to tell you something about Cardi B. I like Lick better than Bodak Yellow. And I think her motorsport, um, her motorsport verse was really good. But she, her, motor, her, her motorsport verse would have been good because she was on a song with Nicki, so it kind it kind of had to be. But when do y'all stop supporting the bullshit? When? And this just is music in general. Like I, I'm, I'm just let's make let's let's move on from Cardi and let's move on. When when are y'all gonna stop supporting the this trap music and 
oh, we want real R&B back. And it's like, okay, well, no, R&B artists are still out here. My is about to drop an album, and I bet nobody even knows about it, you know? And it kills me when people be like, oh, if Aaliyah was alive, no, cut it out, boo-boo. Because we still have Ashanti, we still have Maya, we got Sierra. Um, there are people out there who are still working that y'all don't check for. And I did hear somebody say, oh, we shouldn't have to check for an artist. The artist should just be, you know, I just think I should be able to see them. I should be able to turn the TV on and see them. In 2018, artists from the 90s are no longer signed to labels. They're independent so they can get their money. And another thing that bothers me, oh, and I seen the Bruno Mars thing that was going on. I'm not sure what that's about. What, what's up with the Bruno Mars thing saying that he's uh, ripping off black culture or whatever? I don't know. I'm not a really huge fan of Bruno Mars, but I don't know if that's to be true. His music is very poppy, pop, popish R&B. Like, I don't think he's knocking. I don't think he's doing anything different than anybody else is doing. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing that blows my mind. Um, we often call artists a sellout when they go do a, a, a pop or a non-urban record. Let's say Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday Roman Reloaded album. Oh, they were dragging her for that. And you know, okay, she did a totally different sound. You know, she dropped Sheathers and stuff, and it was like, y'all was silent. She came out with looking ass nigga, looking ass niggas. One of her most iconic songs as far as a, a rap goes. And people like slept on it. I mean, it wasn't slept on, but it was like, I don't understand how you don't get how artists have to open up and be a little bit more mainstream. Because let's just be honest, the African-American community does, does not support black artists once they, even if they have a mishap or whatever in the media, it's like, oh, I can't fuck with them. I like the song, but I'm not buying it. Let me tell you the difference in that. White people were dragging Taylor Swift down social media when that Kim Kardashian thing came out. Oh, she's a snake and she's this and she's that. But when she dropped that album, you know what they did? They bought it and they streamed it. Because they go with the music. It doesn't matter about the person. Oh, we like her music? Okay, cool. Let's support the music. Why can't we get why can't we be like that? You know, we only got, it's like, y'all can only support Beyonce, Rihanna, who I love. I love Rihanna, but it's just like, there are other people out there who actually are still out there trying to grind, and you call them a flop because they don't have the exposure that a Rihanna has. But when this person drops an album, you call them a flop. Even though you play the album, you like the album, but you call them a flop because they're not on the same level as a Beyonce or a Rihanna. I'm just wondering. I'm just asking because I see it all down my timeline all day, every day. Oh, she's a flop. I like the song, but she's a flop. The song was cute, but she's a flop. Y'all have got to get this out of y'all mind. That ex this exposure shit is going to fuck y'all up because it's, it's, it's like... It's like going to work and there's somebody else who can't do your job better, but you do the job better than them, but they get all the praises for it. It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. Exactly. Um, I, I guess real music is never coming back, and I know that this, you know, all this shit my brother listens to, and I'm like, oh my god, like I just want all of these new rappers, new artists to go and take a like a, a two year break, and at least let the old, let the let the '90s and the early 2000s artists come back and just drop albums. 
give me a solid album. Bring back the producers like Timberland, Danger, um, uh, Claude Kelly. You know, just real producers that produce real music. Dark, Rodney, Rodney Jerkins and people like that. Jazzy Faye. And, uh, I'm babbling on, but this is a real topic. You know, I'm a big music fan, you guys. I, I love music. Music is like, I'm married to music. But I was sitting out and I was listen, listening to Shantae Moore today. And I was like, this bitch can sing her ass off. And I was like, then I watched her Unsung episode. And I was like, wow. Like, that's amazing as to how, you know, Shantae had that Mariah Carey. She, she had that Mariah Carey whistle going on. But because she didn't have the Mariah Carey exposure, people slept on her. And she's beautiful. Still looks good. Still sounds good. Still got it going on. And it's like... Yeah. I'm just wondering. You know, I'm a stupid. But... I just wanted to come in here and ask y'all that. Drop down in the comments and let me know. What do you guys think about Cardi B? Number one, what do you guys think about Cardi B? Um, number two, who would you like to see come back as an R&B artist that you haven't heard from in a while? Number three, what do you think happened to real music and real artists? And you know what? I get a lot of people who are afraid to drop down in the comments. I don't know why I get a lot of inboxes versus comments. So whoever's afraid, let me know in the inbox. But don't be afraid to drop comments down in the, in the comments. Nobody's going to bite you. I promise not. I, I always comment back or I love it. Comment or whatever. Let me know your opinion. Thank you.